is up guys Lynn here aka iPod one reviewer with another unboxing for you all today we have the remix mini this is basically the world's first true Android PC uh, it was on Kickstarter I think around March of 2015 and you can now buy this in stores um, I don't know about stores per se but I know that you can get it off of Amazon uh, if you had backed this on a on um, Kickstarter they had two versions they were offering one was the um, one gigabyte RAM eight gigabyte hard drive um, well internal storage but I don't think they currently offer that I think the only one you can get is the two gigabyte of RAM 16 gigabytes of internal storage with a capacity of up to 128 gigabyte expandable storage so um here you see you get the remix mini itself you get a power adapter and you get the hdmi cable so of course on the back it has the um the power adapter slot ethernet port two usb 2.0 ports and the micro usd uh, card slot up to 128 gigabyte um card and an HDMI slot as well as a headphone jack. Then here the dimensions you can see that it has an all winner 64 bits 4 core Cortex A53 CPU and um, again 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM 16 gigabytes of eMMC internal storage and then of course like I said the micro SD slot um, supports up to 128 gigs expandable storage so let's go ahead and um, take this off I went ahead and um, took uh, cut off the little um, the, uh, these tabs and everything so I wouldn't have to go through this um, for with you know uh, make this a lot simpler for you guys um, and then here is the unit itself and um, yeah it's really cool um, this is a capacitive touch button here this is how you turn the device on and off just tap that tap and hold that there is a indicator light um, what's that glue uh, there's an indicator light here that will be green when it's turned on and then here on the back you see um, you know the remix mini is made by Jide technology and then here are the slots again battery Ethernet to USB 2.0 and your micro SD card slot HDMI and your headphone jack so that is the device then here for the revolutionaries that will shape tomorrow so let's open this then we have here this is a little card or whatnot I think this came in everyone's um whoever backed this on Kickstarter I know they had these cards and basically it tells you the model number and it also tells you the date it was manufactured this particular one was manufactured November 3rd of 2015 so not not long <laughs> not that far not that long ago here is a nice little diagram show you what to do to set up and get started and then we have the product description and warranty so it even gives you little troubleshooting things and so it's just a little card here if you would like to read this by all means do so so this kind of gives you a little synopsis here of what to do oh there's English back here too Oh, okay, cool. I thought this was maybe, you know, going to be something in another, the same thing in another language, but it's not. So, yeah. 
Next we have, I'm assuming this is the power cable here. And it is in fact a power cable. Yep, slides on out. So you can see the type of adapter, if it will focus. Come on now, you can do it. Okay, let's see. Put my hand back here. Let's try this again. Maybe it's not focusing because of the, there we go, it's a little bit in focus. There we go, 100 to 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz. So yeah, output is 5 volts. Okay. I'm assuming it has to stay uh, plugged up. You also get um, an adapter. That is cool. I did not know it came with an adapter for the um people overseas so cool they have both of them in there that's not bad at all alrighty next we have this should be the HDMI cable and it is so just a standard HDMI cable Now, me personally, I'm going to hook up a USB hub to this. That way I won't have to worry about um, not having, you know, enough ports or whatnot. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. But, um, yeah, that's been a quick unboxing of the Remix Mini. Now, um, I'll give you just a little bit of, uh, like, an overview of what this device is um basically let me put this here and put that there so basically this device is is all right it runs the google it has the google play store pre-installed of course so it and it and it has it runs a desktop like when you download apps and stuff, it'll go to like a desktop type, you know, where you can um, move around your icons, you can sort them. There's a, a, a um, you know, like a little bar at the bottom. You can put your little apps in there and, you know, it runs just like a regular desktop PC. But of course, you're, you're limited to the things that you can do on the Remix Mini. Um, so it has a capacitive touch, like I said, capacitive touch power button. You just tap your finger and um, it saves you up to 95% in power usage, delivers 20 to 30% better performance, and uh, has Wi-Fi, of course, Ethernet, Bluetooth 4.0, so you can actually use Bluetooth devices instead of actually using the USB port. And it runs all Android apps, 100% compatible with all Android apps, but on some apps you may have to uh, change some settings around because a lot of the apps of course are optimized for touch so unless you are connecting this to a monitor a touch monitor you will more than likely have to either um, see I'm gonna connect a, com uh, a wireless keyboard and mouse to it and I'll use it like that and just run like Google Docs or whatever on it um, but it has its own OS, which is Remix OS, which allows it to run like a PC. But of course, you will not be able to run like those graphically intensive games on it. But you can connect an Xbox 360 controller to it. And again, it's based upon the games that are already optimized for the Xbox 360 controller. Otherwise, you still may have to make some um, changes or whatnot in the menu screens of said app that you're running. Uh, also, some screens uh, are not that customizable depending on whatever what type of app that you're using. Uh, like for instance, you can't really snap an app. You have to resize the um, windows yourself. And it remembers that, so that's a good thing. Um, so there is a lot to this. It's 
I don't want to really go into it um, here. This was just like an unboxing and a quick overview of the device itself. It, um, it feels nice. It's not heavy at all. It's very light. But um, I was just recently introduced to mini PCs, quote unquote. And there are so many types of mini PCs out there. Um, so this would be sufficient, in, I guess, for older people or people that are not really, um, you know, too fluent in PCs or somebody that only wants to do the simple things like search the web, work on some documents, because uh, it works with that too, and, um, you know, watch YouTube videos, you know, things that you would do on a tablet, but you can't do like really heavy stuff on this device. But anyway, just wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing of this here again when I <laughs> when I saw this I was like, "Oh my god, this is so cool. I need to get it." But yeah, um it hasn't been out that long. Uh but yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to put 128 gig micro SD card in it and see how that works. So consider, you know, and, and just see how it works. See if it recognizes it and things of that nature. So yeah, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. So uh, again, if you guys um, like the video, please be sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe. If you are not already subscribed, share the videos, guys. Share the videos. And until next time, guys, you guys take care and be safe.